No look back at 2020 can possibly ignore the colossal impact of the coronavirus pandemic. COVID-19 has overwhelmed nearly every aspect of our society, and NCNA has had to adjust in plenty of ways. Despite the challenges, we continue to lead nursing forward. NCNA is approaching 7,700 members, representing a 7% growth rate so far this year, which is no small feat during a recession. By 2025, we plan to be the largest organization of healthcare professionals in the state, and this growth is helping NCNA reach that goal. Really excited about our uh, program today. The cancellation of in-person events due to COVID-19 has forced us to revise plans for some of our most popular offerings. NCNA staff and volunteer leaders have worked hard to maintain the high level of quality our members expect, though. NCNA has already provided nearly 100 hours of continuing nursing education, with more than 2,800 nurses taking advantage of those opportunities. And that doesn't even include the 24.25 credit hours being offered at annual convention. Joining us tonight, Dr. Dennis Taylor, president of the North Carolina Nurses Association. Dr. Taylor, I'm sure you- Nothing has put nursing in the spotlight like the coronavirus pandemic. From the beginning of the crisis, people around the world have looked to nurses for their expertise, their professionalism, and their compassionate care. Happy Nurses Week, North Carolina. Happy Nurses Week, North Carolina. The best week of the month. Nurses have been leading the way for North Carolina's pandemic response at every level, with dozens of NCNA members appearing in news reports and press conferences. Our nurses have proven to be trusted experts on everything from PPE to testing to self-care and more. That is not appropriate respiratory protection. We need to have um, equipment that has been tested. In the meantime, our Nurses on Board's 2020 Council continues its vital work grooming the next generation of nurse leaders. Representatives Gail Adcock, Carla Cunningham, and Donna White continue to bring the nurse perspective to the North Carolina General Assembly. Coronavirus sidelined some of our highest priorities, such as expanding Medicaid, increasing funding for school nurses, and modernized APRN regulations. But we developed a diverse coalition of organizations supporting the SAVE Act, and we expect to build on that momentum in 2021. Your NC Nurses PAC is supporting dozens of nurse-friendly candidates from both sides of the aisle this election season. And we look forward to welcoming a new field of legislators when session starts up in 2021. We're also looking to top $50,000 in donations for the second year in a row. So please give if you haven't had a chance yet. As we have seen, COVID-19 overshadowed everything in 2020. And that led to collaboration on response plans with groups like the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services, the North Carolina Healthcare Association, the North Carolina Medical Society, and the North Carolina Healthcare Facilities Association. Typically, our biggest opportunity to collaborate with outside organizations is Nurses Night at the Legislature. That was put on pause until the pandemic subsides, but we're looking forward to the rescheduled version in February. The North Carolina Nurses Association is looking ahead to 2021, and we continue to bring value for your dues dollars in this new normal. Thank you for your continued support. We are grateful to have you by our side as we lead nursing forward together. <laughs>